Mm-hmm. Why do you think, if you look at the best Asian footballers of all time, and, mm-hmm. and I guess kind of like the current crop of best Asian footballers, why do you think that Korea pretty much dominates the top of that list? But when you look at the the number of experts, exports, mm-hmm. purely the number, it seems like Japan has way more guys in Europe than Korea does, but they don't have those stars. They don't have the star power. Yeah. Why, why do you think that is? Um, well, I'm not a big expert on um, kind of the Japanese system and how they do it, but I'm pretty sure you know, they have a much bigger country than us. Um, and I'm pretty sure I remember reading they, have a, they had a lot more academies than us. Um, I think a problem here in Korea is the fact with our kind of the way the country is set up, you have Seoul. Um, which is like the main capital city. And then some of the metropolitan areas around it are pretty advanced. But outside of that, it's not a very still, it's it's still a very, um, how do I say, I don't want to say a third world country, but it's it's different, right? It's like there's Seoul and then there's everything else. Um, and that also applies, I think, to, um, to the football and especially the development. I think if you live, um, especially in a region far away from the capital, it is a bit harder sometimes to be noticed um, and be scouted for eventually to play for one of those youth academies in the k-league it's it's gotten better in recent years but unless you're somewhere in the Gyeonggi province or in the seoul uh, capital region itself um you know you don't always get a look uh when you should probably deserve one and i mean mm-hmm. what i mean by that is just like it's kind of the chances that you have are, are a little less frequent than if you would live in the capital i think and I, I think maybe that's part of the reason as to why um we don't send as many players abroad um I think another uh, reason is that I think now is just when we're just starting to kind of develop our own pipeline of guys who are good enough to go abroad. Um, I think in the past decade before Son Heung-min emerged, I, I just don't think we had the players for it. I don't think we had the players with the technical ability to do it. But I think now that we're seeing, um, you know, people, kids born in the mid to late 90s kind of maturing and um, coming come from kind of different crop, I guess, of a football fan. I think um, they're kind of the reason why we've had more exports um, go over to Europe. Um, I think also another reason is just kind of um, the Korean cultural trait of being very humble. I think there are times when I've seen some guys here in the K-League who I think are more than ready to make a jump to maybe a smaller European league stay a year or two. And maybe that's because um, maybe their main manager or their agent tells them, okay, maybe just a year or two, you just need a little more of a seasoning. You got to be a little more humble. Um, and I mean, just look at the like the parents of some of these players too. Like Sonny's dad, I know he did a recent interview where he's asked, "Do you think your son is world class or not?" And he said, "Like, no, oh, well, not really." Like he didn't say he sucks, but he said, "No, I still think he has a long way to go." And I think that could be part of it. It's just like, yeah, like you're a good kid, but this is still Korea, and like we don't know if you're ready to go abroad yet. So I, I think, yeah, that could be part of the reason why, um, as to why we have less imports um, than Japan or exports over to Europe than the Japanese. Interesting. So you got to shine yeah. extra bright in Korea if you want to make it out is kind of what it sounds like. I think so. I, I think the prevailing sentiment is here. You like rack up your stats in the K-League to absolutely destroy the competition. And then mm-hmm. and only then are you ready to go to Europe because um, guys like Swan Min are very rare because I remember he went to Hamburg, I think, when he was like 14 or 15, like, like yeah. barely uh, into puberty. So unless you're like that, um, most of the players here will kind of do their due diligence and ply their trade in the lower levels of the K-League, and then they make it up to the first flight, and then they play a little bit for a few years, and then they move over to Europe. So why we don't see as many as we should right now? Because I think there are definitely Mm -hmm. some guys on the national team who play in Asia right now that would be useful for some of the lower-level European teams for sure.